Hi, my name is Tom, and today we're going to be learning about analyzing accounts receivables. So what exactly are accounts receivables? Quite simply, accounts receivables uh, is an account that measures the money owed to a company by its debtors. People analyze different companies' accounts receivables for a variety of reasons, such as to evaluate a business's performance, to certify the legitimacy of the business's bookkeeping, for tax, integrity, and fraud reasons, and even so that managers can successfully operate the company. Managers, creditors, and investors are the primary people who are interested in how a company manages its accounts receivables. This is because accounts receivables is an uncollected sale, so analyzing receivables allows certain parties to view how well a company is collecting their accounts receivables, or to put it simply, how profitable a company is. They can be calculated and interpreted using horizontal, vertical, and ratio analysis. The first place to start in analyzing accounts receivable is horizontal analysis. Horizontal analysis calculates the dollar in an account balance defined as the current year balance minus the previous year's balance, dividing that change by the previous year's balance to yield the percentage change. As you can see in this slide, there are two examples of horizontal and vertical analysis. One form of ratio analysis used to assess the management of receivables is the receivables turnover ratio, which compares the company's credit sales during a period to its average receivable balance during that period. It is calculated using this formula. Hopefully, hopefully you now understand what accounts receivables are, how we analyze them, and why we analyze them. Thank you very much. Goodbye.